Hello procrastinators and welcome to the very first episode of No Cubes 3 Fap Games Fridays! A faster way to show off cool indie games. Cool indie games like this! Timberborn is a beaver city builder, and if that didn't instantly pique your interest, please consult your doctor about the fact that you are dead. Quick backstory, the apocalypse happened, and now beavers begin their plans of global domination. They'll build dams, of course, beaver houses, duh, and entire cities complete with storage facilities, power generation, and eventually, robot beavers. Yeah, it turns out that the humble beaver has been held back this whole time. I thought it was just plonking sticks in water and funny tails, but give those folks a hammer and they'll whip you up a Taj Mahal. Oddly, this is one of the most groundbreaking city builders I've ever played, as you're allowed to stack buildings, letting your city grow up as well as out. But all is not well in the world of the beaver. Periods of drought can cause your rivers to dry up, which in turn knocks out your water supply, crops, and power generators. If you're not prepared, you'll have many, many adorable corpses littering the ground before too long, like a motorway pileup caused exclusively by cozy coupes. And that's Timberborn. It's out now in early access on PC, and great for anyone who wants to know just how many beavers their incompetence can kill in one go. <laughs> Keeper takes mining to new depths with a gameplay loop that I like to call the Eldritch Horrors are coming, hand me the shovel. The premise is simple, you've landed your protective dome on an alien world and must retrieve an artifact hidden in the dirt below. However, the local populace, all of whom will look out of place at a goth rave in a tar pit, will come and attack you with the regularity of a fibre enthusiast bowel movements. To combat this, you have a weapon attached to your dome. Unfortunately, it's piddly, and less burns a hole through your enemies and more gives them a slight rash to death. Fortunately, it's upgradable. Unfortunately, the resources required to do that are also buried underneath you. Fortunately, you're here to mine. Unfortunately, your mining tool is piddly, etc, etc. You must dig quickly, searching for resources and upgrades, and return just before the monsters do to battle them. Choices mean the world here. Do you speed your movement up now your tunnels are longer, or do the defences need to do more damage? Never mind, you took too long, and now the horrors are using your ribcage as a xylophone. And that's Stonekeeper! It's out now on PC, and great for anyone whose idea of a nice holiday is heavy manual labour underneath Area 51. <laughs> Tachia is an open world folklore the map set on a series of islands so beautiful that heaven is going to be a step down in comparison. Sailing these stunning waters at sunset will turn your screen into an explosion of oranges and pinks so intense that I finally understand what moths have been going on about for all of these years. A quick plot, your dad has been kidnapped and you have to save him, but luckily you're a little bit magic, so not only can you pet every creature in the game, but you can also possess them too. Swim as a dolphin, fly as a parrot, or simply bound across the stunning landscape as a banana. Feel like walking instead? Don't! Climb a tree, wobble back and forth, and ping off of them at velocities usually reserved for catapult ammo. Additionally, with a few strums of a ukulele, you can summon creatures, change the time of day, or grow special plants. Did I mention you have a glider, or you could do flips, or slide down hills? This game has so many traversal options, I'm not entirely sure if my character ever even touched the ground. And that's the Chia! It's out now on PC and PlayStation consoles, and I honestly, truly, and supremely adore it!